morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to my videos. Um, I'm running on about four hours of sleep right now, but I'm not gonna let that make today a funky day. <laughs> I've just had a lot of stuff to work on and a lot of things due today, but I also have a lot of fun things planned for today and I'm excited to take you on that journey. So I'll see you at school. first class of the day we continued to make repeating prints in Photoshop which isn't the most exciting thing to film so I don't have too much to show for it. I then went to the school cafeteria and got a weirdly proportioned breakfast sandwich. Hello again! So I just had lunch and I'm on my way to my screen printing class which I'm super excited about. Just grabbing some stuff from my locker and then I'm gonna head over there. In my previous vlog I showed you the entire process of making my screen from start to finish. Today I decided to experiment with the same screen on some beautiful colored linen cloth that I bought last week. From a distance, this fabric looks like it's solid pink, but it's actually woven with two threads, one purple and one bright orange. I used these as color inspiration for my pigments. So first, I printed four consecutive repeats of my design in purple ink. I then mixed a neon orange color to go with it. I decided to print with the orange on top of my first purple print, but instead of just placing the screen directly on top in the same place as the purple design, I scooted my screen about an inch to the right and then made my print. This would create kind of like a funky offset design. Everything was going super well and I was really excited about my print. Ooh. But then it got messed up. Somehow, some smears of brown paint started appearing, which totally ruined my whole design, and I had to start over, which was super frustrating. Thankfully, I still had the other half of my fabric and could try again. This time, I put the orange paint down first. Some of those brown marks did appear again, but I kept printing because I figured that the purple layered on top might cover them. Once all of my inks were dry, I put my fabric through the curing oven to set the paint. And it actually worked out really well. I absolutely love how these prints turned out and I really can't wait until next week when I can try this again with some new colors. My friend Sophia and I decided that because it was such a long and tiring day, we'd treat ourselves to some desserts in Koreatown. We really went all out. We got bubble tea, black sesame shaved ice, and a burnt matcha cheesecake. And they were amazing. Oh my god. This is so good. <laughs> hello, hello. I just spent my evening neglecting all of my responsibilities and eating dessert for dinner. So I'd say my night's going pretty well, but now I have to go home and actually be a good student and study a little bit. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. I'm currently on my way to campus for my first class, which is Japanese. And admittedly, I'm not super ready for a quiz today. If you just rewind a little bit, you'll know exactly why. <laughs> but I'm hoping it'll still go well. And then afterwards, I have my weaving class. So today should be a pretty full day. And I will see you there. One eternity later. I just got out of class and my quiz didn't go nearly as bad as I thought it would. I actually think I did all right. But four hours of Japanese class is just a lot. So I'm excited to be on lunch. And after that, I'm going to my weaving class. I decided to go try out a deli that's across the street from our campus, which I haven't been to yet. I got a chipotle chicken panini, and even though it was way too spicy for me, it was really good. In our weaving class, we continued to work on our samples on our table looms. I also turned in my macaw feather inspired yarn study that I've been working on throughout the last few vlogs. But first, we had a group critique, and it was actually really fun to see how everyone else interpreted their own natural objects. We then learned how to read a treadle chart, created a skeleton tie-up, and set up our floor looms for weaving. This was all super new to me and really exciting. Hello again, I just got out of my weaving class and it's definitely been a very long and technical day, so 
I'm excited to go home and just take a break. Um, before I do that though, I have to stop by Blick. I need to get some supplies for tomorrow's class and I also need to find dinner somewhere, so yeah. I feel like I go to Blick in every single one of my vlogs, but I swear I'm only getting the things I need for my classes. This time I was there to get some paintbrushes for the next day's class. Going school supply shopping at the art store never gets old. <laughs> So anyway, I'm currently heading home. Um, first gonna stop by the grocery store to get some dinner. And honestly, I'm probably gonna call it an early night tonight, which feels like that's the first time in a very long time that I've been able to do that. So I'm gonna take full advantage of it. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow. I then had my first pumpkin sighting of the year, which absolutely made my day. I'm also a huge fan of these funky looking gourds. So I had to snag one for the house. Happy Wednesday. I am currently making my way to campus with this giant thing that literally just has four pieces of paper in it. And it's such a nuisance to carry, but <laughs> hopefully I won't have to run it back and forth from home to campus too much. Anyway, I will see you at school. Of course, on the day that I have to carry this thing, the train is more crowded than it's ever been before. So that was fun. I then spent the whole morning mixing paint. Last week, we picked out color palettes for our painted textile designs based on the predicted fashion trends from color forecasting websites. So now that we know what colors we want to use for our projects, in this case, my crab theme print, we need to mix quantities of paints that are an exact color match to the palettes that we found online. Basically, I mix a color, paint a swatch, then compare the swatch to the target color from my color palette. I then go back and adjust the color until it's an exact match. We have a quick break in class and I'm gonna head to the vending machine because I forgot to eat breakfast this morning. <laughs> after my quick break, I just kept making swatch after swatch until my whole palette was figured out. In other words, I spent basically my entire three hour class period mixing six perfect pots of paint. In my next class, which is my nature studies class, we also ended up mixing paints. But instead of matching an existing color palette, we got to make up one of our own to paint some flower still life studies. I decided to base my color palette on a mistake that I made in my last class, which left me with a whole bunch of extra blue paint. So I just messed with that until I had some colors that seemed kind of fun. And I'll keep tweaking it next week. Hello, I am now heading home after six hours of just mixing paint. Um, I also didn't use that thing, so now I have to take it home, which is... So me and my four pieces of paper are gonna go find dinner. for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, happy Thursday. It's actually cold today, which is crazy. So I'm taking a risk today and I'm actually wearing my new Doc Martens, which have not been broken in at all. And so we'll see how long I can last before my feet really start hurting. Anyway, I'm off to my one class of the day, which is my afternoon CAD class and I'll see you there. Class just ended, we have a bunch of errands to run. Hopefully we'll get dinner and then it's back to campus for some more work. Surprise, surprise, I'm back at Blick for some more art supplies. This time we went to an absolutely huge store for some more paints and brushes and other miscellaneous things that we needed for class. I got some neon greens to add a bright pop of color to one of my designs. And I also got one of those giant portfolio bags to make my commutes to school a little bit easier. We then stopped by Chick-fil-A and grabbed some food and then headed back to campus. Just got back from the art store, ate some food. Now I'm heading to my locker because I need to grab some stuff and then I'm just gonna work on homework all night. Yay. <laughs> I feel like most of my time is just spent carrying large things back and forth. I worked on finalizing one of my hand-drawn repeating patterns, which is due tomorrow. 
This is for my Art Deco themed assignment where I'm making a Birds of Paradise inspired print. You'll see some more of this project later on in the vlog. Hello again, it's about 10.45 and I'm walking home now. Um, it's been a pretty long day, but a very productive one. I got a lot of work done before school. Class is pretty good. Got a lot of work done after. So that's a successful day in my eyes. Also, my feet aren't bleeding, so that's a success too. I think wearing two pairs of very thick socks definitely helped with that. <laughs> anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Hello, hello, happy Friday. I am actually in a coat and turtleneck today, which is just mind blowing to me. It's crazy how you can just feel the sudden change of seasons just one day. It goes from 80 to 59. <laughs> Also, I have my new portfolio bag, which is absolutely life-changing. I'm so glad I got that. Anyway, I'm heading to campus. I have my six hours of hand-painted textile classes today, so pretty much just gonna be in the same room, just drawing and painting all day. I'll try to film as much as I can if anything exciting happens, and I'll see you there. Heading to my locker now to grab the rest of my school supplies and I am roasting now. It is way too hot. <laughs> the first half of my morning was spent mixing paints for the tropical art deco print that you saw me working on earlier. So basically this is the exact same paint mixing process as before, just with a totally different project so it has a totally different color palette. After a super quick break, I then spent the rest of my class time transferring my finalized drawing onto fancy watercolor paper using a light table. I then spent the last few moments whipping up a super quick color study just so I could have something to show the teacher for feedback before class is over. I have a super quick break between my classes and then it's back to painting. <laughs> I just finished lunch and I also grabbed something for dinner just so I can go straight to the weaving room after this class. I have a lot, a lot of things to do today. <laughs> after lunch, I was back in the exact same chair in the exact same classroom, this time switching gears and working on my crab theme print again. This might be kind of confusing, but basically we're working on two different prints at the same time. I have the Tropical Birds of Paradise Art Deco print that you saw a moment ago, as well as this conversational crab theme print that I've been working on for many weeks now. We've been working on both of these interchangeably, which is basically why I'm doing the same thing twice. Hello. So in our main classroom, we actually ran out of white tables. So the teacher's kind of like distributing us amongst other classrooms. Um, and I actually have this whole room to myself. So I can actually take a second to talk to you and tell you what I'm up to. <laughs> So the past couple weeks you've been seeing me work on my crab inspired motif and now that I've figured out the layout and how the repeat works, I'm going to trace it onto this really nice watercolor paper. Then it's going to be hand painted. So today's kind of like a tracing and mixing paint day and next week we'll hopefully get to actually painting and you'll see this design come to life. So yeah, let's get to tracing. This is so tedious. <laughs> I have so much tracing to do because I not only have to trace all of this, but I also have to scoot it over here, trace some of it again, scoot it down here, trace some of it again, scoot it over here and here and do the same thing. And it has to be exactly right. And ideally when this is done, this should be a completely seamless repeating pattern, but it's a lot of work to get to that point. <laughs> An hour and a half later, I have my very faint sketch that I'm not even sure you can really see on camera, but yeah. It's been a very long day, but a very productive one, so that does feel good. I'm now heading over to my locker, I'm gonna grab my weaving stuff, and then I'm gonna work on my weaving homework, so that's fun at least. <laughs> when I got to the weaving studio, the first thing I did was change from my boots to my slippers. 
I then spent the evening working on my weaving sampler, which was super not cute because we didn't get to pick our warps and I ended up with this really boring brown color. It's about 9 p.m. and I'm just leaving campus. It has been an extremely long day today. I feel like I've just been working constantly on like very tedious, full effort and tasks. So I'm a little burnt out, but Ryan just called me. He wants to go get empanadas and margaritas and that sounds lovely. So I'm gonna go meet him for that. We also got some donuts for tomorrow. <laughs> I made some time in my Saturday morning to enjoy my coffee, to catch up on some YouTube videos, and to play with Frankie a bit before starting work for the day. Then Ryan and I headed over to the Lincoln Center for the New York Film Festival. Ryan's been attending screenings nearly every day of the whole festival, sometimes multiples in a day. I decided to join him for two screenings this weekend. On Saturday, we saw Mysteries of the Organism, a Yugoslavian film from the 1970s. Then on Sunday, we returned to see The French Dispatch, which is Wes Anderson's new movie. Both were as polar opposite in theme and style as two films could possibly be, but we still had a lot of fun watching them together. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next week. Cheers!